anti-lock braking system, also known as ABS, is an electronic driver aid that does exactly what it says on the tin. It stops you from taking a brand new set of tyres and turning them into 50 pence pieces before you've even turned a lap. Like removing traction control, it's an incredibly frustrating assist to master, especially when you are first starting out. However, once you start nailing laps without ABS, you can not only gain time, but can also send huge dive bombs on your competitors. So here at Veloce, we are going to be giving you five top tips to race on F1 2020 without ABS. Before we get into the video, word on the street tells us that 80% of you are not subscribed to our channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell to never miss an episode of Esports 101. Tip one, background. Much like our previous video on traction control, ABS is an electronic driver aid that isn't currently allowed in Formula 1. It's been banned since the 1993 season, in fact. Like most racing games, ABS is coded into the game by Codemasters to help those beginner users find their feet on the track. The premises of ABS is simple, to stop the wheels from locking up. But why do they lock up in the first place, and why is locking up so bad? Typically, a car is slowed down through the friction between the brake pads and the brake discs, turning kinetic energy into heat energy. For a wheel to lock up, the friction coefficient between the disc and the brake pads would be higher than the tyre and the road. This means that the wheel is turning slower than the overall speed of the car, causing a loss of grip and therefore locking the unloaded wheel. When a car is locked in a braking event, it means that one of the four wheels is not slowing down the car effectively. Therefore, the time it takes for the car to slow down increases. On top of this, the act of locking up the wheel does a huge amount of damage to the tyre, submitting huge vibrations to the car at high speed, potentially causing damage to the car itself. Or in the case of F1 2020, increasing the wear of the tyre unnecessarily. So how does ABS detect that the wheels are going to lock up? In a braking event, sensors located in the tyres detects the difference in the wheel and road speed and temporarily reduces the braking force on that specific wheel, therefore preventing the wheel from locking up. Those of you with a car in the real world would know this when you slam on the brakes and the car judders. This is ABS coming to the rescue. Tip 2, trail braking. So you know what ABS does, but how can you drive without it? A popular term in the racing world that you may have heard of is trail braking. This is the act of modulating the brake pressure applied by the driver as the car slows down for a corner. The brake needs to be modulated because for one reason, downforce. When a car is traveling at 200 miles per hour heading into a braking zone, the car has enough downforce and grip to drive upside down in a tunnel. This level of grip means that the driver can apply the most amount of brake pressure and force to slow the car down. But as the car slows, the level of grip reduces as there is less air passing over the wings to create downforce. So the driver needs to gradually decrease the amount of brake pressure. Remember, if there is more friction in the braking system compared to the friction between the tires and the road, a lockup will occur. This is also why when a driver loses some of their front wing, the lack of downforce causes them to lock up frequently when trying to drag the car back to the pits. Tip 3, straight as a ruler. So you now know how to modulate the brake, but what else can you do to stop the tyres from locking? Another way to limit the amount you lock up is to keep the car in a straight line under braking. When a car is travelling in a straight line, the level of grip on each wheel is equal, meaning the driver can expect consistent braking performance. However, when the car is turning, the load and the grip on the tyres becomes unequal, increasing the chance of a lockup. This is why in a typical braking scenario, the inside tyre locks up as there is always a tiny amount of yaw in the chassis as you try to point the car towards the apex. Tip 4. Gravity when trying to remove ABS, another pointer a driver needs to bear in mind is the track environment. Not all corners have the same characteristics, and there may be ways that you can find lap time if you analyse the characteristics of each corner. For example, ever wondered why drivers can brake so late into Le Com chicane? On approach to Le Com, commentators often say drivers climb up the Kemmel straight. This is because the whole straight is uphill. When a driver hits the brake pedal for the chicane, not only do they have their own brakes and the drag of the car slowing them down, but also gravity on their side too. This is why braking into such corners as Bahrain Turn 10 or the Novel Chicane at Monaco are considered tricky because they are downhill. That gravity that was once your friend is now your enemy. Tip 5 Car Setup 
Our final point to help you master driving without ABS is going to be talking about setup. This is for when you master the basics and now want to gain those extra few temps. In the car setup menu, the driver has the option to modify both the brake pressure and the brake bias. If you are finding that you are locking up frequently, even with trail braking, try reducing the brake pressure. This will increase the stopping distance of your car, however it will give you much more consistent braking performance. On top of this, try bringing the brake bias further to the rear. This will decrease the chance of a front lockup, but be wary. Have your brake bias too far back and you will lock the rear tyres and see you spinning around faster than your favourite Ferrari driver. Also, remember you can alter your brake bias out on track in your MFD. When in heavier braking zones, try using more front brake bias. And in lighter braking zones with your brake bias further to the rear, you never know where you might find some time. And that's it. Those are our five top tips to help you drive on F1 2020 without ABS. Are you struggling with an assist that you need help with? Answer in the comment section down below. Thank you to our partner, Playsee, for making this video happen. And don't forget to subscribe to the Veloce Esports YouTube channel. Other than that, I've been Hayden from Veloce, and we'll see you next time. Sunshine.